What's going on YouTube? I'm in the process of moving and packing stuff up. So my room, my living room, just everything is kind of a wreck. I'm <laughs> trying to pack everything up and trying to move out of here. So this is uh, courtesy of Koopa. You probably never heard of them, but after this video you will. Uh, this is gonna be a little bit fun to open. Ooh, sideways, nice. So I'm assuming one of these is the little detachable keyboard dock. Um, you could kind of compare it to the Asus Transformer book, but it's different. It just kind of does the same thing. Not really. Don't quote me on that. We'll see in a second. Got to unbox everything and get everything out and see what all comes with and how to open everything. This is like the most taped thing I've ever had the pleasure of opening. So here's the here's the important thing right here. Comes in some nice padding. Nice. All right. So this is the accessory in here. We've got the oh, it's like a case of sorts. I'm excited. I don't like to open things slow. You'll see what it looks like in a second here. So we're going to close that up. K-U-P-A. Koopa. This is the keyboard. And it has not only know because it says right here. And open that up. Comes in some nice wrapping. to protect it. Put that back in there. So there we have it. Here's the keyboard. Whenever you put it in there, this will lift up. Oh, you pull this back right here to unlock it, I'm assuming. I don't know. <laughs> I'll have to play with it. You've got your VGA, you've got your USB, SD card, uh, Ethernet, You've got power for the dock, which also charges the thing. I'm assuming that because I have not. This is my first time playing with one of these. So you got your Windows keys, control, home, all your functions. And God, I don't want to break this. I'm kind of nervous. I don't like, I don't know how this. Uh... There we go. And that just goes up like that. So let's open this up. This is exciting. This is awesome. Let me go ahead and zoom in on this. So, we've got this. We've got a little stylus or something here. Oh, it's a USB something. It's a lot of little, little, uh, neat. This is crazy. What is this? I don't know what that is. This is the power. And then they have little things that let you know which, what's what. Like the keyboard right here and then the actual device and everything comes neatly packaged. And then here, a little bitty, that's kind of cute. It's little. <laughs> and then uh, you've got this for, of course, hooking you up to the wall. That looks like it's a pin. Is there something else in here? No. This is what I was talking about. See, here's the little power thing that comes with it. And then here's the one that comes with my gaming laptop. Like, just absurdly massive. But this part is actually to show you something. This right here, that goes on the side here, like such, and then locks down like that. It actually has a stylus right here. You pull it out from the back here like this and it just comes right out. And now you have a little stylus. It's updating so I can't really do much with it. But and another thing is this little guy right here that I had no clue what it did. You actually take this and you see where it has the little two connectors 
and it has the the arrows facing forward there that just goes in there I don't know like this or like this but it essentially just charges it pretty sure it's like this it would make more sense it's got a little light on it right there that's cool too so it just goes in there and then you plug this into a USB port we'll plug it into the side right here And it charges your pin. So the pin has a battery in it, I'm supposing, and that's how you keep it charged. More than likely, you're supposed to slide. Okay. Okay, this is making a little more sense now. So that slides in there. There we go. <laughs> oh, man. Learning as I go. So, yeah, you don't actually do that, you just slide it in there. And as you saw the little light on it turned red, indicating that it's now charging. So that's pretty freaking sweet. Just leave it like that while it's charging. And we did that, we got that out. Is there anything under here? Nope, that's it. All right, so here's the, uh, the main event, the start of the show. It's got a neat little cutout, assuming that's where the fan is. Made by Koopa, and that's stereo speakers, a left and a right it looks like. You've got a camera on the back, that's pretty cool. And then on the front here, looks like there's a Windows, I don't know, I, I had a red marker on my, from where I was marking up my address and stuff. So you press that, it's a button. Volume up and down it looks like, that might be a power button. Oh, a fingerprint sensor. Dude, that's freaking sweet. So, it's supposed to have like detachable sides here. Yeah, that comes off, and then you can attach, like, this is the battery part. You just take these, and the battery comes out, and it's, there. like, if you, say you have, like, one or two extra battery packs, you always have a charged battery ready to go, and you could just take your keyboard dock. I don't know if this has a battery in it. Again, that's all stuff I'm going to learn and find out. But, uh, on this side, you've got USB 3.0, two of them, which is nice. You've also got mini HDMI, that's pretty cool. You have a, looks like a microphone, a reset button, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and a micro SD card slot, that's cool. And also you can fit a modular thing on this side as well. Uh, I'm guessing these little rubber things would come up. Oh no, it's got a little thing right here. And then on the bottom it's got, okay that's a vent. And then it's got the little thing where it goes into here like such. And then there you have it. You've got a little notebook with a keyboard and everything. So you just open up and when you want to detach it, there's a little thing right here. You just slide that over. And then it comes out. So let's turn it on for the first time. Find out where the power button is. On the top here, maybe, maybe. Mm. No, or maybe it's just dead. I don't know. I don't know how to turn it on. <laughs> I have no clue how to turn this thing on. Uh, let me let me plug it in. The little power adapter is tripping me out, man. It's tiny. It's my uh, G750JX has a massive one. So this is the little uh, tip here. So this comes off, and that can be plugged into the side here on this thing doesn't do anything letting you know but then whenever you plug it in like this I'm guessing this goes into the bottom yeah okay oh now it's got a little light letting me know that it's charging can you oh it went away oh there it goes try to get it out of the light all right so is this the power button that, that's the power button we've got a fan that just kicked on air is blowing out right here this is cool. This is a solid state. This is the 128 gig SSD with an i7 processor. And it's got 8 gigabytes of RAM, which is a huge thing. Most Ultrabooks these days are coming with less than that. Alright, I had to sign into the... Koopa sent this to me, so I had to sign in. And so we got the apps. It's, of course, touchscreen. It's a 10.1 inch 
1080p screen. So it looks very nice. And we're going to figure out what some of these buttons do here. So that's the volume. As you can see, when you press it, it's lowering the volume. Let me turn this light off. I'm sorry that I'm talking so fast. I'm just super excited. This thing feels premium. feels really good. And, of course, like I said, this little thing right here just, it just slides off. And then there we go. It's, <laughs> this thing feels really good. So now I just gotta figure out how to get it to the home screen without... So that locks it at the top there and it turns it on. And to unlock the screen you just press the little button. Fan kicks on, comes out of sleep mode, and I gotta log back in. Alright, there we go. Um, fingerprint sensor. It's asking me to set up my Fingerprint, that's just too cool, man. Turn this thing on, swipe your thumbprint, you're logged in, no passwords involved. That is just amazing. To bring up the keyboard, just touch here and you can type. It's just standard Windows 8, that. So, uh, we're gonna run some benchmarking. We're going to play with this thing. So I'm gonna go to the computer here, and I'm going to go to Properties, and it's scoring a 4.8 right now. 8 gigs of RAM, The what's slowing it down the most is that uh, graphics card, which is going to, you know, be pretty much obvious. It's a little mobile device. But look at the score though, 7.1 for the processor and 7.2 for the RAM. The SSD in here is providing a 7.5 score. So, you can pretty much ignore that 4.8 overall score because it's going to do web browsing. It's going to do a lot of things just fine. Let's see what kind of networks this thing's picking up here. All right, so it's uh, got this one's a 3G model. I don't have a SIM card to put in there. And that might be what that one thing was. Uh, okay, yeah, that was a SIM card slot, not micro SD. I'm sorry about that. But uh, this only has 2.4 gigahertz. So if they ever upgrade this model, I would love to see them put a wireless AC radio in it. I have an ASUS RTAC66U, and they just released a 68U, and it has, um, my other laptop has wireless AC built into it, and I get a 866 megabit per second link speed. So I'm going to sign into my router here. Alright, so I'm connecting to my router, and we're going to do a quick speed test, and I'm going to kind of just give you an idea of... Uh, oh, Internet Exploder. Come on. Let's download Chrome. Give me just a second. I've been a long time Firefox user since the 2.0 beta back when I first switched from Internet Exploder 6 to a browser with tabs. So I'm going to go here to File Hippo, and as you can see, it does that multi touch. Yeah, I can zoom in and out of web pages just fine. So we're going to see just how fast this thing downloads and installs on here so it's downloading oh I want to show you my network real quick so I'm gonna long press on my thing here open network nope sorry long press on this one open networks alright so on network sharing when I click on my Wi-Fi here oh nice okay so this is actually getting a better link speed than my uh, other laptop not my not my one with wireless AC, but my other laptop only gets a 74 megabit per second link speed. And this is in my bedroom, and I'm kind of far away from my thing. Let me let me take my camera in there and see if it gets any better near my router. Alright, so I'm in my kitchen now, and I'm very close to my router. I'm going to go ahead and open that up again. Okay, so I'm getting the same 144 megabit per second link speed. So that's not bad at all. So whenever I run a speed test, I'm going to go ahead and hit run. And then it's going to download and install Firefox. And then whenever it does, we're going to, like I said, we're going to test and see how long it takes to install. And we're going to run a speed test. And then I'm going to end this video because I don't want to make it too long. So I'm guessing when you press that, yeah, it launches you here. And then you can just swipe in from the left. That's pretty cool. I don't know what this button does. Uh, it is a button though, and then that's of course your volume, and I'm gonna have to enroll my fingerprint and have some fun with that. That's pretty cool All right, so next standard install Just I've been a veteran Firefox user like I said since since like 2.0 beta 
like years and years and years ago. So let's uh taking a little bit. Oh, okay, we are on power save mode. So let's uh let's change this to additional plan, high performance. There we go. Now, okay, it kicked up, it sped, it sped up a little bit. So we'll go here, choose it to Firefox, and then launch Firefox. Don't import anything. And then we're going to go to launch the keyboard here, speed, test, dot, net. So while wireless AC would be nice, I've got to say, 144 megabits per second is a very good signal speed. Uh, you'll see why here in just a second. Oh, so I gotta download Flash Player. I can hear the fan kicking on, it's very audible. It's not loud, but it's just letting me know that it's on. All right, so we have Flash Player installed. We're gonna run our first speed tests. All right, we're gonna run our first speed test, and I've got many videos of this thing coming. I'm gonna play with the dock. I'm going to uh, run it through its paces. I'm gonna see how fast it is. I'm going to see how long the battery life lasts. I'm gonna be making some videos in this thing because this has an i7 and it's got eight gigs of RAM. It's got an SSD. It's it's scoring pretty good on the you know PC benchmarking, and for our internet speeds here. All right, that's kind of a very sad, sad, sad score. So let's uh, let's run this test again whenever it's done. Come on, hurry up. All right, so we'll rerun the test, test again. Maybe now since it's got some, it's already did it, it'll be faster. All right, so that's, that's still not nearly what it should be. Come on. All right, so we're gonna run this test one more time, and we're done. We're not gonna do it any more than that. Begin test. One more time. Give me something impressive. Whatever. I have really fast internet, and uh, if you follow me on Twitter, you've probably seen a screenshot of my internet more than once. I get 120 down, and I get about 23 to 25 up. So. Uh, I don't know what's slowing it down. We're going to play with it. We're going to figure it out. Uh, 144 megabit per second link speed. Uh, maybe that has something to do with it because I'm used to devices that have like this. This thing right here has a 866 megabit per second link speed. So please subscribe for many more videos on this awesome little thing here. Going to play with it. Run benchmarks. Going to run it through its paces. Test out this thumbprint reader. Fingerprint reader. Uh, freaking being able to... My first impressions are being able to take out the battery on the side here and pop in a different one is so much better than having a dead computer and having to be attached to a wall for a few hours while this thing charges. Well, I don't know how long it takes, but if it takes a few hours to charge up, then you got to wait a few hours before you can you know, unplug it and have a fully charged battery again. So you can have a fully charged battery ready to go. That little USB thing, I don't know what that was. I'm going to have to play with that. Gonna have to learn this device, play with it, and get familiar with it. So please subscribe for more videos on this thing. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. This this thing it's gonna get a lot of use, and yeah. If you're not following me on Twitter, please do so. I will keep you up to date on this device and other devices and etc. I also have Facebook, Instagram, Vine, Twitter, Twitch TV, Ustream, pretty much everything. Links are in the description below. Please click show more to see everything. And that's it. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.